Hello and welcome to another Hill and Ponton video blog. I'm Brian Hill here with Carol Ponton today, and today we're going to be talking about um, an ear condition. Some folks call it tinnitus, and some folks call it tinnitus. But stay with us; we'll be right back. Carol, what's the problem with this condition? Exactly. Why don't you tell us what the condition is first? Well, tinnitus or tinnitus is a ringing in the ears. And I'm talking about this because so many veterans apply for this. They apply for service connection for hearing loss and tinnitus. Um, and I want to make sure that they understand what the VA is looking for when they evaluate you at the compensation and pension exam. The first thing is they want to know that tinnitus started in service. But the second thing, the thing that really helps if you can tell the veteran is an occasion that when you first noticed it, the tinnitus started. I remember this Vietnam veteran and he said they were trying to build a, uh, a bridge in Vietnam to get over this creek. And there was an explosion that went off and he couldn't hear, he said, for the next hour or two. And then when his hearing returned, he had that ringing in his ear and he never really lost it. Now that's a really good explanation of when it started and why it started. And it was very easy for him to win his claim. Um, so for me, I think that if you have that, you need to try to tell the VA when it started and if there was a situation that caused that to start. Okay. And what's, how, how is tinnitus rated? Well, the highest rating, if you have tinnitus, you have a 10% rating, whether it's for one ear or two ears, you get 10%. That's the highest there is. So if a veteran gets tinnitus, 10%, you shouldn't appeal it unless you're saying it should have started earlier for an earlier claim that I have. But don't appeal it if you've got the 10% because you've got the highest rating that there is. You know, there is, a, there is some, something of an exception to that rule. If you can show that your tinnitus is so bad that it's actually causing a depression or causing some type of secondary mental condition, that secondary condition can be uh, rated based based on your tinnitus, and that, that that requires some pretty specific proof. You you can't just walk in never having been treated for the, for this secondary condition and and convince the VA that you're entitled to this. You've got to have the backing of some psychologist or psychiatrist before you get that. So you get ten percent for the tinnitus, but then you may get seventy percent right. or hundred percent for the mental condition that it's caused. Right. This constant noise, this constant ringing, has made you depressed. Uh, anxious. Um, so that is a way to get secondary service connection for that. Well, thanks for joining us today, and we'll look forward to seeing you again on another blog.